Okay. Well, what we want to do is this stuff. We want to kind of load it up, you know. Yeah, it's really, really good for you when you put them in there. <laughs> like that. And then we want, we want a really, really sweet drink. So, just kind of. Nah. <laughs> he wants to see if you're paying just attention. Just teasing. I'm just teasing. You don't want to. You don't want to leave the sticker on there, right? So, we're gonna peel. Uh, we're gonna peel all those with. Uh, with your uh, with your orange, you really want to maximize. So you want to maximize for flavor and for value. So the best way to do that is just to uh, you know go ahead and peel that zest off. When you're making lemonade, you, you definitely want to keep the uh, keep the peel. When you're uh, using limes and lemons, the, the zest is fine, but with the orange, it's a little bit bitter and harsh. So we're gonna peel that. I'm gonna do uh, about a quarter of a banana. Toss that in there. Uh, this is gonna be a, a smoothie just for you, but but I need but I need your help though. Should we do a, a green one with spinach and lime, or a strawberry one with uh, strawberries and carrots? What do you guys think? Uh, spinach, the first one. Well, spinach. Are you guys okay with a little green? Okay. We'll, we'll match your we'll match your shirt. Okay. So let's uh let's talk a little bit about about composting. Does anybody have a rose bush? Oh, you have a rose bush. Awesome. So fill your container halfway with water. Grind your peels up especially your banana peels, and put it on the uh, rose bush, they'll go bananas over it, I'm telling you. I've always you wondered about that. Absolutely, Chopping yeah. Chopping it up in the blender before you compost Yes, ma'am. Yeah. They just, they love the, the, the potassium. I have to blend so the rose it bush. Them? It speeds well, everything up. Well, you can speed it up. Yeah, you just don't have to wait for your compost that way. So with, uh, with your pineapples, it's the same thing. Does anybody, you guys have like a vegetable garden yes. in the summer, that kind of thing? So this is good for it? Yeah, for your veggies. So you'll want to just... Uh, You'll want to take your uh, take your pineapple peels and just like we talked about, throw them in there with some water and grind them up. Do we have any pineapple lovers? Oh yeah. So it's not just me then. I've always loved pineapple. I remember being just a, a little guy and I'd always you know make my mom buy me buy me pineapple every time she went to the grocery store. I just liked the taste. I got a little older and I started doing some research and learning and I found out it's really good for you. So are, you know all the fruits and vegetables. And uh, the best part of the pineapples, right there in the center of that core, the core has uh, an enzyme in there that's good for memory, it's an anti-inflammatory. You know what they say, eat good, feel good. That's no joke. So we'll put a little uh, a little squeeze of uh, agave, that's a, uh, a plant-based uh, natural sweetener. It's kind of the, an insurance policy in case uh, any of our fruits aren't sweet enough. That's the same, uh, comes from the same plant they make tequila. So that, uh, that little slice of lime, that's going to really make the, the flavor just pop. So you'll, you'll taste it, you'll see. We want a nice, uh, we want a nice well-rounded green flavor. <laughs> Is this the first time you guys have drank your greens? Yes. Awesome. I, is, a, is this the first time you've seen the, the machine demonstrated? My goodness. I, I feel privileged to be the one to introduce you to the best blenders in the world. Is, are you guys first timers too? No? When was the last time you saw the Vitamix show? Not too long ago. Did you get it? Oh, here you are, right? Well, I don't know if you heard about the payment plan. We're, we're here at the, the show, so you can divide it out over three or five months. It makes it so easy. You can take your, uh, take your new Vitamix home today for... Uh, for a hundred bucks and you just spread it out over a couple more months after that so let's uh throw some ice in there and uh and make it make it happen so the ice is what kind of keeps that drink cold put a couple ice, a couple scoops of ice i made sure and went to the uh, health food store i got the low fat low carb organic ice today so right okay guys this is where it gets fun so just keep in mind there's uh, there's no liquid in there at all. It's just a bunch of big chunks of fruit. Most blenders, you know, what would happen, right? Yeah, yeah. It, that could kill a blender with uh, one of those regular blenders. So this stick right here, this is uh, this is pretty awesome. That's just used to push stuff down into the blade. Don't worry, it won't get chopped up, okay? So we're gonna rev it up on the high speed. It stops before it uh, runs into the blade in the bottom, so. Just like that, we have a fruit smoothie. Bravo! Let's get a big round of applause. Woo! It's amazing. 
huh? So if you guys uh if you guys uh, scoot in here a little bit, you'll actually uh you'll see the uh, the vortex. Can you see how it kind of just uh, pulls everything down? So that's uh that's one of the reasons why you can put the seats in there. So if you want to go from just a fruit smoothie and turn this into a power drink, you're gonna want to add uh, some flax seeds or chia seeds, strawberry seeds, or watermelon seeds. The, the machine can grind them. They don't digest very well by themselves, but once you grind them up, you're gonna get a lot more value out of them. So that's an amazing uh, unique ability of Vitamix that it can grind the seeds up. And uh, another thing you might wanna do is just add some protein. You throw some uh, almonds in there, and a drink just like this, like five or six almonds, it will actually liquefy the almonds. It'll turn your almonds into juice too. If you put the almonds by themselves, it turns them into uh, butter. So it would make almond butter, cashew butter. So yeah, it's amazing. Sometimes, what's that? Yeah. Oh, that's the best part. If you if you take a look in the uh, the book right here, this uh, this cookbook's part of the package, and every recipe in the book is full of nutritional. It has nutritional information, so you know exactly you know what you're getting in your diet. So. If you're grinding almonds, do you use the wet blade or the dry blade? The wet blade does the peanut butter or the almond butter. Yep. So the the dry blade. Did you guys did you guys see the grain demo over here on the side? You got rice flour, cornmeal. That's done with the separate blade that comes in a separate container. And uh, that extra container, it's part of the package today. So we, we never give those out for free. That's a $130 container. But since we're here at the show, you know, you actually get that. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a second container that does this stuff so you can grind your grains. Yep. There's just, there's a lot more value in the package uh, here at the show today versus uh, some of the other places where you may have seen Vitamix machines demonstrated or on the shelf. So it's the best deal. Can you guys see how silky smooth that juice is there? Nice and smooth. Good to the last <laughs> drop. So one, one thing that's really great is that the, uh, the, machine, uh, the machine cleans itself. Oh, you guys like ice cream, right? Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Ice cream uh, is coming up next. So how does it clean? Put soapy water in. Turn it on. You're welcome. And uh, and the machine scrubs and cleans itself. So let's uh, let's do some sorbet. So how come you guys like uh, peaches, right? Yes. Yeah. Let's do peach sorbet. Let me have a question. Yep. How is this? Oh, let me show you. If you see, uh, can you see how close the uh, the stick gets to the blade? It gets half an inch, yeah. But uh, it hits the lid, so it can't, yeah, it can't get chopped up. So that's a uh, yeah, they do. I mean, Vitamix. Uh, we've been around for 90 years. Uh, how many of you guys have have heard of the company? You heard of Vitamix before? A little history on who we are. They uh, they started building blenders all the way back in 1921, so 90 years in business. That's a while. <laughs> I'm actually, uh, I was I was there from the beginning. I'm 577 years old. It's the fountain of youth, right? <laughs> Just kidding. So, anyhow, uh, the company, uh, they've been around for a long time. What country are most, uh, most blenders made in? Somewhere else, right? Where's the Vitamix made? USA. USA, Cleveland, Ohio. So. They're uh, they're well built, yeah, Cleveland. And uh, do you guys remember what we uh, what we said we're making? Ice cream. Yeah, <laughs> carrots in it, right? So it's gonna be a, a carrot peach ice cream. The carrots give it a nice color, and they're good for you, right? Good for your eyes. So let's uh, let's show you this. This is the this is the best part. That's a four cup measuring cup, and uh, there's only one cup. Of liquid down in the, down in the bottom, most uh, most regular blenders they die by frozen ingredients. Have any of you guys ever burned out a blender before? Remember that? I just want you to know it wasn't your fault, okay? Whoever made that blender, they didn't make it with enough power. The Vitamix machine has a two horsepower motor. A regular blender is about an eighth of a horsepower. It's about 16 times more power. You'll see right here what uh, what the machine will do for you. It's not so much about the uh, the power, but about what the power will do for you. You guys remember those old ice cream makers? They take forever to make ice cream. 
you know, the ice and the salt around in a circle. It only takes 40 seconds with the Vitamix. So I will see here how quick it is. Last off. <laughs> Woo! Isn't that awesome? So let me show you guys this design. This is amazing. You see that little uh, little design in there? So that's how you know when your ice cream is frozen. How many of you guys like to uh, to entertain, to have uh, you know friends and family over to the house, right? Yes. That's uh, that's a lot of fun. Your guests are going to be so impressed when you make uh, ice cream, carrot ice cream, and it tastes like peaches. So it's got the carrots in there, and uh, you can do the freeze test too. We provide everything you guys need to learn how to use your machine. Comes with the DVD, that's instructions, the getting started book, tips and tricks, and the recipes. The recipes are right over here. I'm going to flip to the sorbet section since that's what we're making. You can take a look at the, uh, the sorbets there. So let's, uh, let's serve this up for you guys. So one of the most important things to me is that if you have a question, you don't raise your hand. You shout them out. Let me know, okay? The best time to ask your questions is, um, yeah, right when you get curious, okay? That way you won't forget. So let me know if you have questions. And um, this is Brian back here. He's uh, he's taking orders. The machines come in uh, a couple different colors. You can get a black one. You can get a red one. Uh, stain the stainless steels over here. They come in white, too. So just make sure you think really hard about that. That's the most important question of the day is which color because you want to make sure all your kitchen appliances get along with each other, right? So. Okie dokie. So there's plenty of ice cream here for everybody. After everybody's had one, you know, if you guys want a second one. Seconds are definitely uh, acceptable here today, as long as everybody gets some making this stuff for you guys, right? <laughs> Actually, this one didn't have any uh, agave. Oh, it did? What did you no, put in it? No, it just had um, three, uh, four ingredients, actually. It's really, really simple. You guys can all go home and make this with your new Vitamix. It was uh, peach juice concentrate, uh, banana, carrot, and ice. So four things. Really easy, simple recipe. So try that out. And uh, we're going to make soup next. So that's a hot recipe. That's coming right up. So carrots, tomato, celery. Yeah, that's fine. So if you guys watch real close here, you'll see how we just take the uh, we take the garlic and put it in with the husk. The garlic husk is full of fiber. The uh, the bouillon cube that's a healthy one. Okay. I got it from the health food store. Put it in there with the foil. Nah, just teasing. So you, you do want to peel that for sure. I, I did get it. That's a veg, uh, vegetable vegan one. Anybody vegetarian? Yeah. You can use any kind of uh, any kind of bouillon cube you have. I just like those ones because there's no MSG or hydrogenated oil. You know those big words? Sometimes you read the ingredients and you're like, uh, what's that? That's the nice thing about a Vitamix. You eat more whole foods more often, you know, and it just helps you stay away from maybe some of the stuff you'd rather not eat. So it gives you it gives you more options. I'll flip to the to the soup section here. You guys can take a look at the uh, soup. And uh, this is a this is a, a perfect vegetable broth with those five ingredients. If you just switch the spice or you know the herbs and spices and that kind of thing, it's going to create a different soup for you. Today we're going to make a tortilla soup, so I'm going to put a little bit of this taco seasoning, and um, I need a I need to slow down a little bit and make sure I explain this really clearly. Okay, I'm taking a shortcut. I don't want you to have to wait for your soup today. We want to make it really fast. The Vitamix, if you put cold water, cold vegetables, it'll make hot soup in six minutes. That's it. But today for the demonstration, we want soup faster than that. 
So it's 60 seconds if you start with hot water. Does that make sense? The machine will heat it up. We just want to speed up the process for demonstration purposes today. So a little hot water. And uh, let me uh, let me teach you guys how the how the controls work. Can you guys all, you all have a good view here? So this is the uh, this is the on and off switch on this side. So you can see how that works. When this is on variable, you can change the speed. Speed it up, slow it down. The slow speed, that's for food processing. The Vitamix can chop stuff up. If you see in the uh, in the cookbook here, that's your wet chop section. And uh, you got your dry chop section. And then uh, a couple pages past that, see where it talks about cooking? Don't you guys love to cook a couple meals a week? No, Without that's having to have cook, let the, uh, let the Vitamix do the work for you. Oh. So we're going to speed it up onto the, uh, onto the high speed. You guys hear that? You hear that turbo kick in? That's the highest, fastest speed. Once you have it up, you just you don't even need the knob in the middle anymore. That's one speed high. So we're going to let the Vitamix uh, emulsify those vegetables for about 60 seconds. And uh, then we'll add some texture. between uh, another smaller wet or the dry grinder that does uh, that does this over here turns your wheat into flour popcorn into cornmeal so if you guys uh, if you come feel the container just come feel that for temperature see where it's at see how it's just warm to the touch it's uh, it's very hot on the inside so it's uh, it's a safe material because it doesn't transfer the heat it's an insulator also also it's BPA free and if you drop it on your, uh, if you drop it on your tile floor, it won't shatter. It's a uh, co-polycarbonate. It'll bounce. So, but let's say you did have a problem with your machine. You know, something, something on the Vitamix. It's got that uh, that warranty. It's a wear and tear warranty. Parts, labor, and shipping are covered uh, from now until all the way to 2021. So you're gonna have it for a long time. The average lifespan on your new Vitamix is gonna be. Uh, Often uh, more than the uh, more than the seven years or the eight years that it's warranted. This uh, this is a tortilla soup, so sometimes they last 10, 12, 15 years or more. So, have you guys ever had tortilla soup before? Nope. Yeah. Was it at home or in a restaurant? Nope. Both. Awesome. Well, you'll you'll have to tell me how many thumbs up on this one, okay? Most of the time, if you go out and get a tortilla soup at the uh, at the restaurant, it's going to run you five to seven dollars when you make it in the Vitamix instead of paying five to seven dollars a bowl it's a dollar a bowl you save a ton of money with your Vitamix so not only is it cheaper than soup at a restaurant but you know you're staying you're staying out of the, the restaurant in general so if uh, that's saving you a lot of money oh the friction of the blade so it's a uh, it's a 37,000 rpm blade speed that means it'll heat up, heat up anything you put in there over a little bit of time. So if uh, you know if you save a little bit of money by you know eating out of your Vitamix, that's going to be a good thing. And if you save your health, that's going to be an even better thing. There's you know all raw vegetables in this soup right here. So try that, uh, try that soup out, and uh, we're going to make another juice coming up next. So just let Brian know whenever you're ready when you figure out which color you want to go with. You know. You guys know this is the last day of the show here today, so. How much we 